Here's why I strongly believe that we are living in the post-apocalyptic era, and that people in the distant ancient past were far more advanced than us. And before I start, let me explain to you what post-apocalyptic means. Existing or occurring after a catastrophically destructive disaster or apocalypse. Well, for starters, they built amazing architecture that can barely be explained today. Scientists, archaeologists, and researchers sometimes have no idea how they made some of these structures. Such as this ancient Indian temple carved from a single rock. You're telling me these people were so primitive that they were sitting there chiseling away? Creating all this. And all this. And these beautiful looking pillars inside. They for sure had some kind of ancient technologies and techniques that we don't have. After all, many of our own archaeologists, scientists, and researchers can hardly explain any of this. Don't even get me started on the pyramids of Giza. If you really believe that primitive people took ropes, quarried 4 million megalithic blocks, some of them weighing over 5,000 pounds, bringing them to Giza 500 miles away, and constructing the pyramids of Giza in about 20 years. If you do the calculations and you divide 20 years by 4 million blocks, that's about one block every nine seconds being laid down. And not only that, they also had an outer coating of limestone and then at the top there was a big old solid gold cornerstone. And there was water underneath the pyramids. Limestone, gold, and water all happens to be amazing conductors of electricity. And no bodies were ever found in the pyramids of Giza. Perhaps they were generators of some sort. Kind of like this, powering their ancient cities. Before these disastrous post-apocalyptic event happened and wiped everything out. In fact, the ability to concentrate electrical and magnetic energy was discovered by a team of researchers led by scientists from ITMO University in the Russian city of St. Petersburg. There's a lot about our history that we're not being told about. Such as this beautiful ancient Indian temple. You're telling me primitive horse and buggy farmers built all this? I have a feeling the interesting design had a practical use to it that we're not really being told the truth about. Possibly something like this. Developing an electrical current. In fact, there used to be a science that used to be accepted to called ether. Ether in physics, a theoretical universal substance believed during the 19th century to act as the medium for transmission of electromagnetic waves. Much as sound waves are transmitted by elastic media such as air. Ether science used to be common knowledge. That there is free energy and currents flowing above the ionosphere. And you can extract this free flowing energy through methods and techniques such as Tesla towers. Which Tesla proved that free energy is a possibility. But a hundred years ago, ether science was demonized because you can't make money with free energy. Another reason I think we're living in the post-apocalyptic era is the worldwide destruction of ancient sites. Look at these ancient buried pillars in Turkey. More destroyed megalithic sites. But yeah guys, what do you think?